Around 480,000 cruise passengers are expected to travel to Sitka this summer. On the biggest days of the cruise season, Sitka could double in size. Globally, the cruise industry is booming. And with that staggering increase come a lot of questions. How does our community handle the numbers of people coming to town? And how can visitors have a good experience in Sitka? And how can Sitka still feel like this is Sitka? As someone who was born and raised here, I feel like I'm, I'm witnessing my community change right in front of me. So the only real question is, do we want to get ready for it or just let the flood come? But you can't keep people from coming. Well, I they want to come here. But they want to come to Sitka. They don't want to come to Disneyland. No. And if we continue to erode what makes Sitka Sitka, they're not going to want to come. I don't want us to be a destination. I value our community because we're a community. And we're proud of showing it off to people. There's a level that is a responsible amount of tourism. And then there's a level where it's traffic jams of buses and people who are frustrated and impatient with the tourists and neither the residents nor the tourists having a good experience because we've gone too far. You're not alone. Now, more than ever, there are communities that are beginning to ask questions about what kind of tourism do you want? What kind of cruise tourism do you want? What kind of limits should be placed on it? And how do you ensure that the cruise industry pays its fair share? How does any community figure out what's best for all of us? Even if we can figure that out, do we have the levers we need to shape that?